they say, when the team is struggling, the captain always turns to his partnership breaker. I'll go. He could have played for England. At cricket, that is. Phil Neville's one of the natural all-rounders, who as a youngster was just about the hottest cricketing property around. He captained England schoolboys, he played for Lancashire seconds at the age of 15, and it all started here at Greenmount Cricket Club. Well, when we were young, when my dad used to go into bat, we used to always stand at that fence there, and he used to always hit the ball over the trees, and we used to go and fetch the balls. And then when Gary was here, he, he used to do it. Well, you used to hit him over the trees? He used to hit him over the trees as well, but I could never do it. And well, but you were probably a correct kind of player. Well, that's, that's I it. think that's what my, my dad and my brother always used to say to me, said, I never had the power to do it. Gary used to call me Jeff Boycott because I was not his sort of batsman, really. Well, were you more like David Gow, do you feel you are? Left-handed? Yeah, left-handed. And I think he's one of the best left-handers of all time. So if you was a young lad, you was always David Gow if you was a left-hander. What kind of crowds would you get? What kind of atmosphere would we have on a, on a great day, a nice summer's day, which it uh, sort of is today? Goosebumps <laughs> on the goosebumps there. But, In the uh, middle of winter. Middle of winter. I used to get a lot of people down on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, to watch if we had a uh, Mark Taylor used to be our pro, the Australian, Australian captain. Taylor? Yeah, and wow. he used to, I'd, I'd say at least a thousand to two thousand on probably every Sunday afternoon watching. And you broke records, didn't you? Yeah, I broke records at under 11s, under 13s, under and under 15s. Uh, under 13s, I broke Michael Atherton's record, and under 15s, I think it was John Crawley's batting record of runs in the season. What was your top score? It was 193, but not out again for Lancashire. I was just going for my 200, and with two balls left, I needed eight. And early, I, I was going for two, and I run this lad out, so I couldn't get me 200. Wow. 193 not out? Yeah. Incredible. Or 50 overs, yeah. Incredible. Or oh, 50 overs? Mm. Was it always going to be football, or how, how did the choice come about? Well, about from 11 to 14, it was always cricket, and. I think my dad's ambition was always for me to play at Old Trafford at cricket and Gary at Old Trafford at football. And then I got picked for the under-15s at both cricket and football. And it was one week I played in, uh, in the Olympic Stadium in Berlin in front of 60,000. Four. Four England schoolboys at football. And then uh, I flew home on the Friday and I played cricket for England. And there was nobody there. You know, it was just the families watching and... There wasn't the same buzz or anything, but, you know, I, I loved both experiences, but it probably just swayed my mind, really. Don't you think, you know, when you see great test matches at Lords and things like that, and you see the, the bat, I mean, mm. there's no more great theatre than that, is there, when you yeah. made 100 at Lords? Do you ever think, gosh, you know? I think sometimes when you see, like, a big final and you see the atmosphere there, you know, you can... I think it's an atmosphere where you can enjoy all day because the game lasts so long, you can enjoy it, and I'd love to... I'd love to... I'd love to play in that kind of atmosphere and have a go at it, but... I think the cricketers think the same as when they see a Wembley final and a match at Old Trafford, I think they think the same. You're saying to me you can't complain, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's never hit a six over these three. Dad and Gary have. So here's your chance. Rob, stick to football. Point taken, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> 